talking about uh, uh, painting the engine. <clears throat> when I took the engine out of uh, the car, uh, it was already painted, but it, uh, some of the paint was not very good on it. So <clears throat> I pulled everything, uh, pulled parts off and uh, took the uh, heads to have them fixed and so on and so forth. And while those parts were off the engine, uh, I repainted with the, the new paint that I had gotten uh, to fix up all the stuff that was not painted correctly or not painted well uh, while it was uh, uh, when it was out of the engine or out of the car I mean so <clears throat> some of the uh, as the parts were uh, came back to me from uh, being worked on then I began to paint them uh, while they were off the engine I had to be careful uh, in doing so I didn't want to I didn't want to cover up, I didn't want to paint things that weren't supposed to be painted or that were inside part of the engine. You can't, you can't do that. So you got, you got to tape them off so that the paint can't get in there. Uh, one of the things was uh, all where all the bolts uh, tighten. <clears throat> the seats. You don't want to put paint on there. You want to leave that off. So that the bolt can tighten against the, the metal, then you paint the bolt head after it's after it's on there. Uh, some some uh, 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 head bolts had to be uh, left open, uh, uh, left unpainted. So, so like underneath that bolt head. Yeah, the underneath where part the, where there. it seats. Yeah. Okay. Wherever there, wherever the bolt was going to go against the the head didn't want any paint on there. You wanted to, the head bolt to tighten down because they have to be torqued to a certain tension and you want metal to metal. You don't want metal to paint. Uh, so you, you tape that off so that it can't get in there. Uh, that's yeah, pretty much, well, anyway. <clears throat> Which parts did you have off the motor? I had the heads, the manifold, the uh, exhaust manifolds, and uh, water pump, this housing, uh, thermostat housing, and that's about all that came off. If, Fan, you, were, if you were to do it again, would you recommend you know is it easier because obviously after that you had the block and things that were attached were there any things that were still attached to the block that you ended up painting with with it still attached it would have been easier to take off off the bat or you know is there any tips on that well no i think <clears throat> no See, it I was pretty good with, the, the rest know, of the yeah the the rest of the uh Parts that are that are still attached to the end, or still attached, uh, you could paint them while, while they're on there. It, okay. it didn't matter. It didn't matter. And so, you know, what what parts? You know, you had the heads off, and you were taping things off. Besides the bolt <coughs> holes, bless you. Besides the bolts, you know, you got to. What else do you have to cover up? And well, for for someone to, that doesn't have a clue, has never painted okay. an engine well, before, you have to cover up wherever the you have to cover up all this stuff has to be covered up so that you because mm -hmm. you don't want paint in there this is where the rocker arms are going to go yeah and so none of that had to be what about the underside the, and the, uh, the and of course and the that. underside that was setting down on okay so you didn't have to worry about you didn't that. have to worry about the underside because <clears throat> uh you couldn't see that okay so but we'll have we'll have pictures to accompany this but you know just trying to figure right. out and then on the manifold you just cover the top Intake port and yeah, wherever the, and the bolt holes on the carburetor that goes on here and that, that type of thing. Uh, and the underside, of course, was sitting down wherever the gasket goes. <coughs> that was sitting down, so you couldn't see that either. And so, what how what did you use? You know, you said you you bought 
like a quart or whatever a pint of, of <clears throat> paint and then you bought spray stuff so what did you spray versus um brush okay and how it was you know what was it easy to brush was there any yeah. tricks to it or well all this all these the, all the big parts the heads the manifold and this part here um i painted with a paintbrush hmm. because it it was much easier to do uh and i, and I <clears throat> because spray paint goes everywhere so you got to be careful when you're doing that and and so plus i put it over on a bench with a with a bunch of paper so i could i could do it a way way easier with a paintbrush now when when we after we put the thing back together okay then these little these little guys here it was a heck of a lot easier to take the spray can and just kind of zip, 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 uh, and cover those up. You weren't going to get spray all over everything uh, doing that because you're only you're aiming it directly at the bolt head, uh, and you weren't going to get a bunch of paint everywhere else. So it was it was easier <coughs> easier to do it that way than. Uh, while it was off the engine, it was easier to do with a paintbrush. Cool. So that's it. Did you you, you painted it. a couple things flat black too, didn't you? Oh, Are they well, not on yeah. Here? The the uh, the generator hangs off of here. We haven't put put it back on. Uh, there's a bracket that uh, that bolts onto here that holds that, and uh, that that's all painted black. Uh, this. Pulley, we took it off, painted it. Spr that that was something I sprayed. I put um, tape around the top of this thing and then sprayed the inside of that. Uh, and on the other side, the generator, or the starter motor is over there. <coughs> we kind of, uh, we just kind of <laughs> left. I didn't want to take that off, so we just kind of put some paper uh, to cover up the engine that we uh, sprayed that. Is that on here right now? Yeah. I think it's painted. Oh, there's, there's, not, there's not much light over here, but... Uh, I can't tell. That's all right. Uh, well, maybe we haven't painted it. Well, that's all right. Yeah. We just kind of covered up the rest of the engine and uh, give it a couple of quick sprays. <clears throat> but the other the other parts, uh, I sprayed them good because they were off the engine. Yeah. Cool. That's about it. Um, I had there was something else. Uh, oh, the you didn't do the manifold covers, the the rock valve covers. I mean, because oh. you got new special ones. We have new special. Valve so those covers. are just keeping the dust out for now. That's why it looks like that's, that's terrible. Right. That's right. Um, if you were going to paint the valve covers, is it the same paint? Is it? Is there anything different if you're going to repaint those? Um, uh, I, th these might. <clears throat> well, I just cover up the hole where the where the screw goes, and um, and these probably would be uh, better to spray rather than use a paintbrush on them. Mm. Uh, but, but they'll come out smoother if you spray it. Would powder coating work on that? Yeah, you can get them powder coated if you can if you can get the um, uh, the correct. I mean, if you want to keep them uh, the correct color, uh, it might be difficult to get that particular color in powder coating. I'm not sure. I I didn't try. Yeah. Um, now, paint, you can't just go buy a can of Krylon for this. You know, you, you got, you want to get, there's special engine paint. Well, high, high temperature High paint, temperature, right? that's, that's one of the, yes, that's, that's one of the uh, requisites for uh, uh, buying paint to put on an engine because the uh, engine parts get very hot and so you got to have uh, special paint that's uh, made to not, um, 
uh, be affected by high temperatures. And that's what this this guy that I bought this from. Who is that's it? What he, uh, his name is Bill Hirsch. We'll have, does he have a website? You know, we'll have a phone number, contact info on the uh, you know in the blog yeah. post or on YouTube, whatever. We'll have that stuff if anyone's interested in finding it. I can't remember the, the what the website. He does have a website. Okay. We'll have we'll have it written up on the on the uh, website or or on YouTube in the notes. Okay. If anybody is looking for that. And he has like all the he specializes kind of in Buick stuff, but does he have anything? He has <clears throat> Well, no, Buick's one of the things that he has, but he has the proper color for most automobiles. Ford, GM, Ford, everything. GM, yeah. Hudson. Okay. So he's he's kind of the source. Yeah. And so the the spray paint you got was also you got a can of brush on, you know, whatever. Uh, and and the spray paint also was high temperature. Yes, you can get a spray can of your color from that guy. That's a high temp paint. Yep. And what's the cleanup on that stuff? Lacquer thinner. Lacquer. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you're gonna paint your engine, what are the? Don't paint in the holes. Don't paint under the bolt heads, and get the right paint. Is that pretty much it? Those are pretty well. That pretty well tells. Tells the story. Three, three good things that need to be probably some more, but yeah, first, but you know, those those three, those are sure. the major ones you don't want right. to do. Right. Cool. All right. Anything else? Was there any? Uh, do you have any issues with paint not adhere? You know, anything weird that was? No, I didn't. Work? No, no. We cleaned Pretty everything simple. up with uh, uh, paint thinner. To, oh, so you cleaned which, it all first. Cleaned it with paint thinner <clears throat> to get the the grease off uh -huh. <clears throat> but um, that's all yeah cool okay all right. sounds good Done. low battery watch out <laughs> okay yeah.